Yes? They're recorded now! Huh? The doorman just attacked us! Get the police down here now! Where, where are you? I need an address. Hey, 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 get away from him! Sir, from are him. you in the valley? Get away from him! All right, uh, you know what? Fuck this, fuck this, fuck. No, no. I'll figure it out. Hey, 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 you need to let the police come there no, fuck for you. Fuck you, fuck you, forget it. Well, fuck, fuck me? You. Fuck me? Hey, fuck you, go to hell! All right, go yeah, fuck you! Hello, Salome, how are you? I'm great, how are you, Dammy? Very all right. Very all right. Are you are you guilty of something today? Who's calling? Who's asking? <laughs> Who's on the line? Are you guilty of something? I don't. I don't want to go. But I don't want to go back. <laughs> uh, so very good intro into our movie, our twenty twenty one movie, The Guilty, which was directed by Antoine Foucault, which featured Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, so it is a uh, real life crime. It's a, uh, sorry, not real life, uh, crime thriller movie. Uh, that's an hour and a half out of Netflix. Psycho thriller. You know, I'm so into you, psycho thriller. You know, I don't know are, why. It's all in the eyes, it's all in the eyes. And she's got crazy eyes. Everything is psycho thrill is my thing. It is, it is. So, um, this movie, it's actually, uh, not too bad to watch, I suppose. Uh, at least not too bad. Are you kidding me? This movie was amazing. It was a guy talking into the phone for hours. It reminded me of like you know phone booth, or remind me of that Liam Neeson uh, movie where he's on the phone or top ten, top ten on Netflix. Amazing, Anton Foix. The guy yeah. that did Equalizer, the one that made Training um, Day. Training Day. And the famous movie was Denzel. <laughs> yeah, movies with Denzel. Yes, that's right. Um. So what is it? So what is it that got you glued onto screen? Because for me, I was like, this man is just angry. <laughs> so I really like the movie and really kept me going on because I had a feeling that he was real like yeah he was like getting punished for something but I didn't know what it was so he was like getting frustrated anger at the beginning he was like blaming everyone for everything so I like the movie because you know I didn't know till the last minute that why he was acting that way so yeah. it was like you know this type of movie that I don't really know what's going on, you know, I I I really like it, and I you know, and I and I like the fact that in you know after like all that like frustration and anger, he becomes vulnerable. So for me, it was very interesting, and also how he tried to help the woman because of his stuff i don't know for me i mean it was a kind of movie that i like so i i, I don't want to like spoil it but it was uh, and they shoot it uh, during the covid time so it was very interesting because uh, anton um Fouqua, he got covid like two days before they start to shoot no and they shot the movie in 11 days only during the COVID time. So they said they had to do like, he had to be, he couldn't be on set. So they wired up his van. So he was out of the, you know, the, the, the location somewhere else. So he was like, just, just, they're just talking by FaceTime, you know, and um, what do you call it? Like a walkie? Yeah, thing? walkie talkies. Yeah, like head test. Yeah. Yeah. And then like, um, between like uh you know between that like jake um was going like on the other side and they were like yelling at each other like romeo and juliet and they're just <laughs> like interacting it was it was various and he said like everything was on the zoom everything was um you know like just calling and sometimes he could like hear himself as well so it, mm. it was like hard to play the 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 character and Antoine was saying that sometimes um 
not like 100% he was like directing him because he was like Jake was a genius so sometimes you have to let the actors you know like to subconsciously if they're a good actor do what they they need to do so Jake basically there was like some scenes that he wasn't even being director directed and he wasn't like saying things out of script he was just saying it like subconsciously so it was very interesting and for me another interesting thing was the camera wasn't moving so basically if you really like focus there's no moving camera they're like different cameras from like different angles but it's like all set up so there's like you know they didn't have it on a dolly or in a or anything like that so cool no. so then it really was the actors using the using the scene as much as possible and then that gave it the, the dra drama i guess um i guess and Oh, got got premiere at TIFF Toronto Film uh, International Film Festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, yeah, I heard it did well. Uh, I believe in twenty eighteen it it's twenty twenty one. It came out twenty twenty one. Uh, yes, okay. but the original. As I said there was a Danish. It's a remake of the twenty eighteen movie of the same name, right? And but then in TIFF it yeah. was twenty twenty uh, twenty twenty one. You're right. So um so yeah so i i think you're right jake john hall generally is a good actor you know even all the way back in the days of like you know brokeback mountain uh southpaw he played a, a father a father amazing southpaw was amazing as well yeah. I love so um and then uh i guess in this case now he's you know trying to be a hero in his own his own way um and defending the weak and the helpless um, but overall, the movie was sure dramatic, which is good. The guy yells a lot, so turn down your volume a little. What was what was your favorite scene? My favorite scene, I think honestly, it's just like when he s took himself out into the next room, um, and then just like isolated himself from the from the rest of the world, kind of thing. Uh, he pretty much snapped off everyone that that tried to come into the room, even like the his coworker. That was trying to get a beer with him and things like that. But even his boss, anytime someone came into that room, it was like, oh my God, you pull that, you pull me out of that scene just to sort of for Jake to yell at his uh at his co-workers. So um, but ultimately it's you know, because a lot of this is like I would say 80% of runtime, it's just the screen on Jake. <laughs> um uh, this is it really shows the power of uh of his acting but uh but yeah my favorite scene was that he was trying to talk to his wife you know like so bad and she wasn't talking to him and exactly at the moment that he was on the call with the emily you know and it was like the time that he couldn't hang up and the wife was calling mm -hmm. so it was like very and he couldn't like pick it up mm -hmm. it for me, I, I really like that, how he was like controlling and like his emotion stuff, you know, I could really see like, you know, the, he didn't know what to do, you know, he, you know, hesitating. I mean, I, I really, I really love that scene. Good. Well, uh, so it's IMBD gave it uh, 74% and Rotten Tomatoes uh, gave it a 6.3. So what did you give it out of 10? Eight. 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 I give it a six, so we'll put it right at seven. Come on, six. <laughs> <laughs> we can never, ever watch a movie together. No, no, this is why you're over there and I'm over here. So ultimately, it's a seven out of ten by Salty Popcorn Standards. Okay? All right. It shouldn't be. It should be eight. Eight point five. For those that but are because Dami always go against me, we always get the lower salty popcorn score. But mm -hmm. IMDb, how much? How much was IMDb? Uh, seventy. IMDb was Dave. a seven seven point four. Seven point four. Yeah. And Roger Tomato sixty three. So. 
Just saying. You're very ambitious, but it's okay. Anyways, for uh, more movies that we're going to review, uh, definitely uh, give us a follow and see what our, our review is going to be. And then... Uh, Subscribe peace. and follow our Instagram. <laughs> and share it. All right. And share. <laughs> you right. know, like, my movies are always better. But mine are the best. So, but it's all good. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you all uh, next time. Bye. Bye.